Hey guys and girls, welcome back to uh, Alliance Alive. Um, where we left off. <clears throat> where we left off, um, we just got to. Uh, we just finished the story with Tiggy and uh, Vivian and them. And uh, now we're playing as Jean and Rachel, who are like agents for uh, for the demon uh, Grossa. Who we encountered uh, with uh, Galil and them. So I'm supposed to find out, I guess, um, um, he wants me to spy on the resistance and what oh, drives them to fight, essentially. So let's go to the pub, because we know he's the resistance leader. Let's go see what he has to say. Welcome. Hmm. You. Aren't you? No, it's nothing. Don't mind me. Oh, actually, you know what? <sighs> Why am I going to the pub? I forgot that he clearly said to go speak to the person in charge of this area, which was uh, Wagger, or whatever his name is. second here guys there you go. who the hell are you apes like you ain't allowed here yeesh beast folk act like this everywhere don't they that attitude's getting real annoying what'd you just say to me nothing we've come on secret orders from the demon lord grossa radon my name is gene mcdonald I believe you should have received prior notice of our arrival. Hmm? Now that you mention it. Huh. So you're a dog instead of an ape. Go on in. Pfft. <laughs> Look at him. He looks disgusting. Batter. That's his name. Or Bador? I don't know. Hmm. What do you want? I believe you should have received word that we have been sent by the demon lord, Grossa Radon. He has entrusted us with the secret mission to reconnoiter the local resistance movement. But, 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 does that mean he doesn't trust me? No. Lord Grossa holds you in high regard, Lord Bador. I am merely here to approach the problem from a different angle. <laughs> I see, I see, in high regard, eh? Hmm, a different angle. Well, fine. There ain't a single resistance rat in this town, because I don't let any in. As for your investigation... Oh, I know. Some humans are living in a tower to the east. You should check over there. Thank you for your guidance, Lord Bador. We will head there without delay. Hmm, very good, then. Wow, he was surprisingly straightforward. You'd expect a high-ranking beast folk leader to give us a hard time at every corn. Every- every corn. I'm so- okay. Every turn. It seems that we are unwanted guests. Hmm? You think so? I don't know. Don't you think that a wannabe demon and a beast folk leader would get along? So what now? Are we staying here? No. Let's proceed to the tower in the east. He gave us a valuable tip. Tower to the east. The eastern tower, huh? I hope it isn't too much of a walk. <clears throat> Give me a second here, guys, before I continue. Um.
the eastern tower, huh? I hope it isn't too much of a walk. Um, it's a bit of a walk. We'll get there, though. Recon Guild Tower. So is it the tower to the east? What should we do? Correct, Rachel. Let's hear what the locals have to say. You sure we should be doing this? I'm just hired muscle. Detective work wasn't in the job description. Hmm? Oh, don't worry. This is fine. Stay. Uh, I don't know. Oh no, I know about water devils. The yeah, beast was guarding on this play the place at that ruin, yeah. Sense boost. So he sells Signomancy. Upstairs. <laughs> this kind of felt like a waste of time, but are you finally satisfied? I suppose we should wrap this up. We're going back to Saval now, Rachel. Huh? What for? I have an inkling that something important is about to happen. Like there's a commotion coming from the tavern. There could already be trouble. Let's hurry. The beast folk are gathering for a raid. Don't come any closer, you lot. Hmm? Aren't you the one who visited Lord Bedore? What happened? Haha, <laughs> we found a resistance hideout. Hey, keep walking. You filthy resistance monkey. Lord Bordor accomplished a great deed while you two were poking around aimlessly. It sounds like a few rats escaped, but we'll eventually get them all. <laughs> sense. Hey, wannabe demon. You knew this would happen, didn't you? 
Not for certain, but I did suspect such a development. Why, you little... Come on, we're going. Hmm? And where precisely are we going, Rachel? It doesn't look like there's an escape route, so they probably got away through an underground waterway. In a town of this size, there should be another entrance somewhere. And your sole job on this mission is to be my bodyguard. Who cares about that? Okay. Where did the where did the waterway dump them? I forget now. Isn't there like an opening? that it dumps them at? Or is it just like out of the town? Find where the waterway dumped them at. I forgot. It isn't here, right? I don't think it is. Pretty sure it's not. I don't remember. My library guild tower. I don't think it dumped them anywhere, did it? It just kind of put you right outside the front of town. Ancient museum.
go back in town because I don't think it dumped them anywhere. There, I just have to probably find a, an entrance in town itself. This house seems pretty suspicious. Let's peek inside. You just picked it randomly, didn't you? Hello? Anyone home? Who are you? You can't just barge into my home. It sounds like the Beast Folk raided the pub. I see. I knew that had to be what was happening. I heard that some Resistance members are still on the run. We want to go help them before the Beast Folk catch them. Help them? Are you saying that you're one of those Night Ravens? Yeah, we're rookies. We joined just recently. I see. They're having a tough time of it. Wait, Rachel. Don't just make up weird. You be quiet. So, mister, you wouldn't happen to know where the underground sewers are, would you? I think they might have gotten out that way. Take a look behind that bookshelf. I've been keeping it hidden so the beast folk wouldn't find it. Nice. Thanks for the juicy tip. Now let's get in there and save them. For the love of... Anyone could guess that there's a secret passage behind the bookshelf, right? There. Secret passage discovered. I think this leads on the ground. Here we go. Um, Rachel, what about your job? Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Come on now, hurry up. Yeah, we might be able to catch up to them from here. Rachel, I'm telling you. Quiet, they're here. I, I found them. Hurry and notify Lord Bador. Bador. Damn it. If we let them get away, forget about them. But. C come, come on now. Now's your chance. Hurry up and run. If you're just gonna stand there, you're gonna get caught. Who is that? Forget it. Just hurry. Rachel, why are you doing this? We don't have any reason to help these people. Maybe you don't, but I do. I never thought you'd be this cold-hearted. Are you seriously working for the demons? I've been telling you, it's complicated. And whatever. Let's roll. Wait, what? Wow, he's got a lot of abilities. Sleep Barrier, Healing Sigil, Wandering Cloud. Oh my jeez, they're strong. <laughs> I'll have to test out a battle because I haven't fought one yet with these two. They are powerful. The two soldiers from earlier were easy enough, but if we deal with this many, We'll surely be found out. You're seriously so... I want to save them if at all possible. But perhaps we could switch tactics. Uh, Rachel, hold on. We can't just sit back and do nothing. It's 
sorry, but that's the most I can do for you. Hang in there, you guys. Do you even understand the delicate situation I'm in? <laughs> wow. Relax, we'll be fine. No one caught us. That's what you say, but... Look, if I say it's fine, then it'll be fine. Come on, let's head back. Jean, do you think those kids were able to get away? I wonder. Well, whatever fate has in store for them, I'm sure they'll manage. As for us, we've got work to do. Hey, just what are you up to anyway? Come on, let's get going. So what's next? That depends on what move Lord Bador makes. For now, let's visit the Beastfolk garrison. Hey, are you the one who attacked Wyatt? Stop it. Huh? Who said that? It sounds like it came from the pub. Ah, uh, hey. It's these guys. What's that now? Don't tell me you're gonna challenge us. What do you mean that humans are disposable tools? Eh. I meant what I said. Humans are a bunch of tools for us beastfolk to use and toss out. That's what it means. That's why you went after Wyatt and his friends, isn't it? Well, well, are you buddies with them? Ain't that a shame. They've all been captured and taken to the caged realm. Once they get there, they'll expire after being used as Lord Bador's entertainment. How dare you talk about humans that way? Eh, didn't I just tell you that you're nothing but disposable tools? Humans are our, our playthings, toys, trinkets, get it? Oink, oink, oink. Squee, squee. Damn monsters. I'll never forgive them. Ignore them, Max. They're just t trying to provoke you. Uppity, ain't ya? Looks like you need some punishment. Can't have you causing trouble for Lord Bador, can we? We'll take good care of you. Squee, squee, squee. Well, things are looking bad. Let's stop this. Hold on. Securing an audience with Lord Bador is our top priority. If we make a scene now, we'll certainly suffer for it later. Are you sure you're all right with that? Yeah. I'm putting a stop to this. That's enough, all of you. For the love of... Arf, more friends of yours. We'll wipe them all out. Oink, oink. What? They could at least let us talk. intervening. We wouldn't have been we would have been finished if it weren't for you. It's fine. I'm glad you're alright. Seriously, thanks. You too, glasses. Please direct your thanks to Rachel. I merely happen to be passing by. I apologize, but we have an appointment to keep. Still, we owe you a debt. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Well, ah, thanks. That just reminds me I have to equip those on them, I think, right? Yeah. So we can have some medicine. Hey! Aren't you the ones who killed my little brother? The bosses say we gotta follow the law when punishing humans, but I can't stand for this. Sorry, but you're dying here. Oh. He's the brother of the beast folk soldier we fought. That's why I warned you not to get dragged into trouble. We make too much of a scene here. Let's take this to the outskirts of town. At this rate, we'll have to fight. Rachel, please get ready.
Jeez, he's got a giant sword. Dude. He got like a cloud sword. Oh, Conflict only breeds more conflict. We must break that negative cycle eventually, even if it ends up being painful. I stand by what I did, so I don't care what you have to say, Glasses. Oh, it's you. Are you here to bask in Lord Bador's glorious victory? Indeed. Pfft. <laughs> Sassy. I like her. I like her more and more. Come now, we already know that you're in the resistance. You wouldn't need an escape route like that if everything you were doing was perfectly legal now, would you? You really didn't have any evidence when you arrested us, did you? <laughs> Say whatever you want, soon you'll all be dead. We'll capture the ones that got away soon enough. <sighs> hey, prepare the executions. We'll put their heads on pikes in the middle of town. Eh? Wait. I believe it may be prudent to delay that course of action, Lord ba Bador. Hmm. Who said that? Oh, you lot. What does a traitorous dog want with me? I'm the one who captured them. I get to decide their fates. Indeed, but consider this. If you can extract data from them on the other resistance cells and move to round them all up all at once, your deeds will receive an even higher praise. Huh? What are you... The truth is, Lord Bador, I would stand to gain some recognition from it as well. Wahaha, <laughs> so that's how it is. You're truly the very image of a traitorous dog. Alright, I accept your suggestion. Hey, take them to the Bastille. They might escape if we stay here. Prepare the portal. Enjoy being a demon's pawn. Thank you. It looks like we'll be able to survive a while longer. There's no telling how long, though. We'll follow Lord Bador's as lay Lord Bador as well. We might be able to learn something. Hey, wanna be demon? I don't understand you sometimes. Really? I believe myself to be quite a simple man. Clearly not. You're a very weird person. <laughs> Where the heck is this at? Is this the prison? In the cage drum? Uh, probably. Alright, let's start off with these two underlings. Looking forward to hearing you scream in despair. Just so you know, this isn't really my thing, but shouldn't we be picking a safe word first? Just a brainless thug. Shut your mouth and move it. Hey, you. Watch this guy. Hey, Gene. Can't we at least help this guy while we've got the chance? Rachel, we can't just... I appreciate it, but it's probably impossible to escape. Even if we could get out of this room. Indeed. Besides, my situation is considerably different compared to either of yours. You sure? It looks like we're in the same boat to me. Regrettably, I'm not a member of the Resistance. All I am is a man who's trying to better his position by currying favor with the demons. Hmm. Even so, I can't help but feel we're working toward the same kind of future. Oh, 
Oh, back to Galil. What just... Mm -hmm. Hamburger? What? Oh. Hey, you guys okay there? Hey, kid, you all right? Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you two are okay. Demons! What the hell do you want with us? Ruffian, you dare threaten Lady Vivian. H hold on a minute, Ignis. I'm not letting you near Azora. Huh? Well, what's going on? Do not fret, Lady Vivian. Now, please stay back. You demons, this time I'll... Silence! Listen, brat, this air-headed demon and her servant aren't your enemies. Doggy, you calm down, too. Doggy? Brat? Uh, brat? 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 I'm Tiggy, Professor Tiggy Alstein. The demon spacing out over there is Vivian. And that tense guy next to her is Ignis. Hmm. To put it simply, they're weirdos. <laughs> hey, did you just call my mistress a... Am I wrong? No, he knows it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm Galil. And she's Azora. Hey! Hey, Galil! This is the ship we've been looking for that can cross the dark current, right? Hmm? Are you familiar with this vessel? Hmm. Long story short, that mirrored cross led you here. And that's how you met us. What does that mean? Does it have anything to do with why the ship suddenly moved? More importantly, the caged realm is of concern. Yeah, my dad, Barbarossa, and Renzo are there. From what we've heard, their treatment by the beast folk is a tad extreme to be considered mere peacekeeping. We thought that if we had a flying ship, like the one in the painting of the blue sky, we might be able to get to the caged realm. That's how we ended up here. I never imagined that the Ark would come hurling toward us. And it doesn't even fly. Hmm? Ship engaging autopilot. Eh? Well, what was that voice? The, the ship is moving! Is it gonna start flying just all of a sudden? Seems to be going somewhere else. The ship is now on a stable course, disengaging autopilot. <laughs> I see. So that's how it works. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Somehow this ship has the ability to sense its conditions. I have no idea how. <laughs> what do you mean, sense its conditions? Basically, you could tell that we'd been beached earlier, so it moved of its own accord. accord. You heard that weird voice, right? I think that was some kind of signal. I see, so that's what autopilot means. I feel like I've heard that voice somewhere before. Yeah, and if the autopilot is off, that means... We can move the arc! We can control the arc! Bad idea. I have a terrible feeling about this. Yeah, we don't know what else could happen. Oh, come on, doesn't it fascinate you? Maybe we can take the ship across the dark current whenever we want. Oh, it's three versus two, and the girls win. Sorry, Team Downers. <laughs> Aww. At least Agnes has a friend now. <laughs> Let's start sailing right away, then. We should look for a way into the cage realm. <laughs> Galil, Zora, Vivian, Iggy, and Tiggy, join the party.
Okay. We got our ship now, I guess, apparently. Um, is everyone in battle right now? Is that a thing? That is a thing. Okay. I guess everyone is ready for fight. Ship has deviated from a stable course. Engaging autopilot until bearings are restored. Oh, we can't do that? Huh? We can't? Oh dear, not again. Did I not say this would end po poorly? Ship's moving on its own again. Where is it going? Oh no. Oh no, is it gonna crash into the wall? Oh my lord. Well, that's one way to get into the caged realm. <laughs> hey, everyone alive? I'm dizzy. Phew. Not again. Why does this keep happening to us? Weirdest bunch of characters ever. Well, I guess that works. We totally did it on accident, but we got into the cage realm. Why, Barbarossa and Renzo? Yeah. <laughs> it will be all right. I offer my humble skills to aid your quest. Wait a minute, madam. We we're traveling incognito. What will you do if we're discovered? Hmm. I think it'll be okay. Probably. <laughs> Look. Miss Alstein. My name's Tiggy, but you can also call me Professor. Uh, Steiny. Watch it, kid. This is our problem. We're happy that you want to help, but it's dangerous. Don't you find it suffocating? Suffocating? The dark current in all these prisons. I hate being cooped up like this. Science is the study of turning limits into freedom. At least that's what my science is. Turning limits into freedom. Besides, I want to test my power suit. Alright kid, off we go. What is this place? The atmosphere here is really weird. I'm getting chills. Seriously, it's like we're in a whole different world. Um, do I have any skills that I can... I mean, not skills, any uh, particularly good equipment that I can give people now that we're all together. I don't know why this has an X next to it. Like, is this made for somebody in particular? Because it doesn't really say... stands to reason that he should be able to wear this, right? I would think at least. Bellatrix. I just don't understand what's the point of these weapons. If, if they're forever like gonna be like just weak and not useful. You know, it's kind of funny. I haven't used any talent points yet, I think. Yeah. Like, with the new characters, at least. 
Everyone has been pretty tame on that front. Maybe he just needs to get better skills? Like heroic, master, and all that stuff. I don't know. Do not know. Alright, um... Let's actually fight this thing. I want to see how well we do for the monsters over on this side of the spectrum. Jeez. Not too good. Ow. I don't like this. Things are powerful. Wow. Alright, I think I'm actually gonna end it here, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Um, we'll continue infiltrating the prison, uh, the caged realm on the next part. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.